Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my first update for hashtag 54321. This project pan was created by Elizabeth, who is Shiny Happy Pans over on Instagram. She's my buddy. The whole idea behind this project is to work on five products throughout the year, one that is five years old or older, one that is four years old, one that is three years old, two years old, and then one year old. So um, I had done this project several years ago, but Elizabeth said she wanted to bring it back again this year. And of course, I couldn't say no. Um, I am obviously working on five products. I don't have any empties for today. And the two products that I've used the absolute most consistently over the past month are the two that I basically cannot show any progress on. So wouldn't that be the case? I am wearing all of the products on my face today. It might be a little bit of overkill, but I'm not really going anywhere today. So I do have a bold eye look and a bold lip color on at the same time. So the product in this project that is five years old is this BB cream from 1004 Laboratory. This is a product I received complimentary for review from 08L, I believe. And I feel like I'm making good progress on it. There's 1.0 fluid ounces. So it's a, despite the fact that this package looks very small to me, it is a standard uh, foundation slash BB cream size product. I did spend about a week away from this while I was testing out a Lancome foundation that I'd received for review and I wanted to form my thoughts on that. So I only have about three weeks worth of use but this is where I'm currently at with this guy and I, I do feel like it's going very quickly. I think this will be gone I don't know I think it's going to be gone before the end of the project that's for sure. It is a very light color, which works for me wonderfully this time of year. I don't have a lot of light foundations. I like to buy foundations that are too dark for my actual skin tone. Um, so I've been really enjoying this product that is a good shade match for me at this time of year. And it's been wonderful. I suppose once I start getting a tan, I'll try to mix darker foundations in with this so that I still keep working on this. But yeah, I haven't looked into it. And I know this product is not available at like Ulta or Sephora, but I might try to hunt this down and see if it's still out there because I really like this product. It provides an SPF of 29. That's random. It provides an SPF of 29 and, um, it has a really nice consistency. It doesn't break me out. I just, I really like it. So I would actually like to buy one of these, you know, to have, to keep having. I just really fell in love with this product. Of course, I have other foundations I need to get to first, but that's how much I've been enjoying it, that I've actually been thinking about tracking down this product and seeing if it's even still available. But yeah, this is it. And I've been wearing it for the past three weeks pretty consistently. The product that is four years old is my Ren Perfect Canvas Skin Finishing Serum. I use this as a primer. The recommendation on the packaging says one to two drops. I actually use three, um, occasionally four, but three drops seems to be the right amount for me. I can't really tell where I'm at with this, but this was brand new. Both of those products the BB cream I might have had a week's worth of use prior to the start of this project. This I hadn't used at all. And yeah, even with just three drops a day, I'm getting through it. I can't really tell, but if I had to guess, I would say I'm right around here. And I'm really enjoying this product a lot. For the product that is three years old, I brought in this Becca Berlin Girl Glow Highlighter. I can't believe this is three years old. I can't believe any of these products are as old as they actually are. I feel like I just got them all yesterday. But my goal is to hit pan on this product. And today is the first time I've used it. I haven't used this at all this entire month. So not much change to talk about. I spent the majority of this past month working on my Sleek Solstice Highlighter Palette as well as the Fenty highlighter that I have in Project 10 uses. So those two have been my main priority. I 
had rolled the Sleek Solstice palette out of the project and now I'm only working on three highlighters. So this one should start getting some more love very soon. But yeah, I was really focusing in on that Sleek Solstice palette all of last month. So um, today is the first time I'm using it. As you can tell, it is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some more use out of it starting this month. My product that is two years old is my Marc Jacobs Le Marc Lip Crayon in Plum and Get It. I am wearing this today. I have worn it a few times. I've probably worn it three or four times over the past month, which isn't a lot, but is pretty good for me with this bold lipstick. I did wear it to work one morning and literally Everyone was like, ooh, what are you all dressed up for? And I'm like, nothing. I'm wearing the same junky clothes I wear every day. I'm wearing everything was the same except for this bold lip color. And it literally fools everybody into thinking I'm going somewhere fancy after work with this bold lipstick. It is so funny, but it's also it also makes me a little self-conscious. Like I work in a school. I'm not trying to attract attention. I'm just trying to go in and do my job. So when I get a lot of comments from people, I get a little self-conscious. So um, yeah, I gotta find ways to work this into my routine that don't make me feel self-conscious because it's a beautiful color and I do like it, but it is very bold and people notice. And so um, I need to keep working on this. I realized today when I went to go see if I made any progress on my paper that the crayon is broken from the base, which is a little disappointing, but I don't think there's any new progress to make. I have kind of slimmed down one of the sides of this pencil, but I don't think it's actually any shorter. So I'm going to keep working on this and build up my courage to go to work wearing this color. And the product that I have in this project that is one years old, one year old, is my Pat McGrath Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction Palette. I am wearing it today for the second time. So I only wore it twice in the past month, but my goal is to hit pan on this duochrome shade right here. I think you could see it looks kind of like an aqua blue color, but then it's got this purpley shift there. Whoa, you see that? There it goes. There it goes. I think that is fun. Um, today I have this shade all over my eyelid paired with this shade all over my eyelid underneath it and blended out in my crease. The last time I wore the shadow, it was the same deal, but with this color. And I actually think I like this shade better. I would have thought that this would have been a better match with this duochrome shade, but I actually think this one, um, makes the duochrome pop even more somehow. I don't know how that works, but um, basically whenever I do reach for this palette to try and get a use out of the shade, I'm just using this palette exclusively. Plus I might add in a brow bone highlight from another palette, but um, only two uses so far. We'll see if I can hit pan on it. That's my goal. My goal is to hit pan between now and the end of the year. So we'll see if I can do it, but I'm glad that this is out in my bathroom. I'm glad I'm seeing it. I'm glad I'm just using it twice a month because this is a very expensive palette that was sent to me within the last year and I don't want it going bad in my office. So I'm excited that I got two uses for this. So that is gonna be it for this update. I know it's a quick one, but there's only five products in this project. I don't anticipate having any empties for a minute. I think it's gonna be a few months before I have any empties, but I'm gonna keep working on all these products as much as I can. And um, I will meet you back here next month for another update. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.